This is Catherine of Fit Armadillo, the fitness company that lets you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. This Tuesday, I'm going to talk to you about BMI, what it is and why you should or shouldn't care about it. So first, what is BMI anyways? BMI is an abbreviation that stands for Body Mass Index. This index is a tool that's used to categorize people based on their weight and height alone to find out if they're at risk for certain diseases related to being overweight. Why should BMI matter to you? A few companies have required you to start having your BMI measured, and if your company does this, you might be penalized for having a BMI that is not in the healthy range. With that in mind, you may want to figure out your own BMI before someone else checks it out for you. All you need to know is your height and weight. If you live in the U.S., you have to do a little extra calculation to turn your weight in pounds into your weight in kilograms and your height in inches into your height in centimeters. But the only measurements you'll need are your weight and height. So here's the equation that you would use to calculate your BMI. Now, what do you do with this information? There are a few basic categories that your BMI could fall into. If your BMI is less than 18.5, then by the index's standards, you are considered underweight. If your BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9, then you're considered to be a healthy weight. So pat yourself on the back if you got that number, 18.5 to 24.9. If your BMI is over 24.9, in the range of 25 to 29.9, you're considered overweight. This designation means that you can be at risk for some health factors. So as long as you don't fall into some of the categories I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, you'll want to lose some weight so you can limit those risk factors. If your BMI comes out to be 30 or higher, then you're considered obese. And as you can imagine, if you're in that obese category versus the overweight category, you're at a higher risk for health problems and losing weight is going to be even more crucial for you. Now I've said this before, but it's worth repeating. If you're overweight or obese, don't let it get you down. You do want to talk to your doctor first before starting a fitness routine, especially if you're in those categories. But the good news is that you can start a fitness routine that includes just walking 30 minutes a day, broken down into 10 or 15 minute segments. You'll be able to see a positive impact on your health and the decrease in your likelihood to suffer from some of the various diseases that are related to obesity. Now, there's a few things I haven't told you about BMI yet, but that you should know. Because it's an index and it only uses your weight and your height, it can sometimes be a little bit misleading. For example, if you are an athlete, remember that muscle weighs more than fat. And since the BMI only looks at your overall weight, athletes can be considered overweight on the BMI scale, even if they're actually quite fit because they have a lot of muscle mass. Another time when your BMI can be inaccurate is if you're an older adult. And the reason that this happens is, again, due to the fact that muscle weighs more than fat. As we age, we lose a lot of our muscle mass. And so your BMI can actually be lower if you're an older adult and you've lost a lot of muscle mass. Even though the BMI, body mass index, does have limitations, it's useful to know what your BMI is since your doctor is going to start measuring that for you. So it's good to know for yourself what your BMI is before you're required to be tested. Since the BMI is limited, it's also useful to figure out what your body fat percentage is and a personal trainer can help you figure that out. Or if you tune in next week, I'm going to teach you how to figure out your body fat percentage at home using just a measuring tape if you're a woman and a measuring tape and a scale if you're a guy. Now that you've watched this video and know how to calculate your BMI, I want you to take action now. Calculate your BMI and then leave me a comment below this video telling me what you think. You don't have to tell me what category you're in, but I'd love for you to tell me if it's what you expected and what you've learned by watching this video. Did you learn something by watching this video? If you did, I would love for you to share it with your friends and on social media because sharing is caring. Thank you so much for stopping by for this week's Titan and Tone Tuesday. Don't forget to tune in next week to learn how to calculate your body fat percentage, which is a more accurate indicator of your health. Have a great week, awesome workout, and I hope to see you soon.